here's the creative um, speaker system inspire 2.1 that I'll be using to make my um, tactile transducer using the base speaker from within I might use the uh, side speakers for some other variations of the um, tactile transducers for side input um, first of all I'm going to be using these cables to um, use a um, extension over here um, from the box to the base speaker that will be put in on the seat oh. and done that now now I've already undone the screws we take that out and disconnected the speaker wires also in tandem I've now taken one of these um, sockets from the PlayStation multi adapter, PlayStation portable multi adapter that I used to have on the TV, and strip the wires. These I'm going to connect to those two and then send it out the hole over here, and then I'm going to use the extension cable to plug into there um, and then put a second one of these onto the speaker which will be going underneath my seat here you can see I've sold the socket onto the output for the base speaker Okay, I've electrical tape to cover it up, and um, yeah, later when I make a more permanent solution, I will use heat shrink to fix that. But I need to put a proper socket in the box somewhere. This box might not be the end result, but um, for the moment, this will do to house the controls on the front. Okay, made the cross beam that will be put on top there. And once the cone's removed, then we can uh, epoxy that into the remainder of the cone. And here we've cut around the cone, both on the inside and the outside careful not to cut where the wires are connected as you can see um, over here uh, over there and there this will fill up with um, epoxy with the bolt embedded into it Just make sure that the head of the bolt over here, where is it, where is it, there you go, um, is not pushing down the cone before you start to put the epoxy in. Um, so you adjust the, the height over here, so the distance between there and the head of the bolt is not pushing the cone down. Okay, the uh, epoxy has been uh, cast, poured into the um, the cone, and there you can see the uh, epoxy uh, embedding the bolt, and we're just waiting for it to dry. Okay, now we've put it all together, we've wired it up, it's connection for the speaker end, connection for the amplifier end, um, there's the amplifier, is the bass um, volume I guess 
We're not using the two speakers at the moment. Power, I'm gonna switch power on. I'm busy playing some music. And you can hear it vibrating. There's just a loose washer there at the moment. But now I'm gonna turn the bass volume up. Right. You can hear the music. There you go, that's quite some vibration.